Hello everybody, welcome to Project Beauty where we talk about project panning and everything beauty related. My name is Jen. I'm going to be starting a brand new project pan. Um, it's going to be a project 10 uses. The reason I want to do this is because I have a lot of items in my collection that have not been touched or things that I have used for a little bit and then I forgot about them. So I just want to bring in five things to start and I'll just switch them out as I go so I don't get super overwhelmed with all the other projects that I have going on. But I will let you know that once I use the product for those 10 uses, I might be doing a review on that individual product by itself in a separate video later, but I'll also give a mini review once I've used the product in here just so you guys know what I think. So um, I want to introduce you guys to these items that I am using every single one of these. I shouldn't say every single one. All of these are brand new items. I've only used one. So the first item I have is the one that I've actually used and I have the light version on today but this is the fair version. It's the Melt Glazed Skin Sheer Finishing Powder in the shade Fair. So that is the Glazed Skin Sheer Finishing Powder. There's 9.5 grams of product in this. And I found this through, I want to say it was Johnny Ross. He was decluttering his um, powder collection, loose and, and pressed. And this product came up and he said it was fantastic. It does come with a full-size mirror. I'm going to be outside the box today and I'm going to take this off. Ruth, that's for you. <laughs> If you're watching, I never take that off. I never take that off of my products. So that was a big deal for me. I don't know why I do that. But anyhow, this is what the product looks like. It is a finishing powder, like it says in the description. And basically you do your full makeup and then you just dust this over top and it gives you that sheer glow. And it's a lot like obviously a glowy loose finishing powder like you could get from Hourglass or whatever, but they also have those baked ones. This I don't believe is baked. I think it's just pressed. So um, I'll swatch it for you here. So this is what it looks like a, a stark highlighter, honestly, but you're not going to put it on your face like that. So I will swatch it for you here. So when you blend it out, it's still going to look because I put a lot of, on my finger, but when you blend it out, it just looks like this nice glow on your skin. Like it's just the most beautiful dusting and glow on your skin. And yeah, I'm sorry. I have sunspots and stuff on my hand. I'm getting older. Okay. I'm getting older. Disregard the sunspots. Okay. She's getting old. Um, yeah. So we're just going to not talk about that, <laughs> but this product is absolutely fantastic. It's wonderful. Um, I have used it a couple times. I have both the fair and the light shade. I should show you the light shade now. I'm not going to go into um, more depth or whatever on these two right now, but I will tell you that I do love the way that they look. So this is the fair and this is the light. So you can see there is a little bit of a, a depth change, but um, I really truly do like these. I have light on today because I've put a lot of bronzer on. So I wanted to hint more color. And honestly, I like it so much that I would probably buy the deeper shade, like the middle shade for summertime, but I don't wear a lot of makeup in summer. So that's why I'm not doing it. And I'm trying to slow my roll. So that's the first item that I'm going to be trying for product 10 uses. I've only used it like maybe two times of the fair one and once of the light one. And I just want to kind of see how it wears, how it feels, all that kind of stuff. So this was again, like something that I saw from Johnny Ross and I swear like his makeup is flawless, beautiful. And if he enjoys this product, I think I'm going to as well, but we'll see. We'll see how I feel after 10 uses. So the first uh, or the second item I have is for, um, it's like a holiday kit from Sephora and it's called Say Liquid Blush. It's in the shade Rosy. Now, I don't know if this has a specific name on it. it. I don't have the container anymore and this is literally all it says. And then it just says Rosy. Do blush, pardon me, do blush in the shade Rosy. So I have not tried this yet. It does have a doe foot, it looks like. Ooh, yeah, a big doe foot. So we're going to swatch it here and I'll show you. Oh, that's a very like creamy, moussey texture. It's got quite a moussey texture to it. That looks beautiful already. Oh yeah, definitely a moussey, a moussey formula and a little bit goes a very long way. I would definitely suggest um, putting it on your hand before you apply it. And I'll talk about that in the review, but just based on what I'm feeling and what I'm seeing, 
you definitely want to use this in certain ways so i will try those ways out i don't have any tissues near me oh my gosh what is going on with the world i'm not prepared today and i'm doing swatches okay um oh i know what i have these i gotta get rid of these because i have a few of them and i don't use them anymore because they're so bad for the environment so <laughs> yeah anyway the next item that i want to try in the project 10 uses is the estee lauder double wear foundation now this has been around for some time i'm sure a lot of people know this and tried this and love this but i have never tried it this is literally the most perfect shade for me especially on my neck i'll show you so it looks a little bit dark compared to me right but i'm going to take a little bit on my finger and you can see it right there like you can barely even see when i put it on like it looks literally like it blends right into my skin i can't even i cannot even believe like <laughs> that is a great shade match for me so and my chest is very red from sun damage and stuff i, I do wear sunscreen i swear um but that one i want to try again of course 10 uses i am in the shade 2c1 pure beige and that is my winter skin shade so that one i will let you guys know what i think um the next one is one size and it is a turn up the base versatile foundation powder and it's in the shade medium 4g and i think this is a great shade for me right now can we just first of all talk about the gorgeous packaging gorgeous gorgeous metallic red if i was to do a makeup company i would do metallic red packaging it is absolutely stunning this is so gorgeous i am going to take the thing off of this as well because i know i'm gonna love this i'm sure i'm gonna love this powder and once I start on a powder, I like to continue, but yeah, so satisfying. <laughs> anyway, really cute, great size mirror. And almost you get a bigger mirror because the product, like the packaging is mirrored. So yeah, I mean, great. And then this is the color itself. It's very yellow, but I'm Simpson yellow myself. <laughs> like when I put this on, you won't be able to tell. Um, let's see if I can... So there's a swatch. Woo, that's yellow. That is yellow. Let's see. It's a little yellow. You can definitely see this on my skin for sure. Yeah, you can definitely see it's yellow. But I will use it on my full face and I'll let you guys know what I think. <laughs> I think this may be a little bit too deep for me right now, but um, we'll try it out. I'm just moving the camera all over the place. But yeah, we'll try it out and see what I think. A lot of people swear by that powder and I've had it for a few months and I've never used it and I'm trying to use up a couple of my L'Oreal powders, but I mean, hey, I wanna try this before it goes bad as well. Last but not least, we have the ABH Glow Seeker Highlighter in the shade Sun Idol. And I'm very excited to try this. This is apparently the dupe for Amreezy. I missed out on Amreezy because I was on a three-year no-buy. And I wasn't doing YouTube at that time. I took a three-year hiatus because I had my son and I wanted to focus on my family. And I'm so glad I did. And I came back during the pandemic and when I did, I missed out on this and I missed out on the Mel Cosmetics Vita and Muerte eyeshadow palettes. And I was like, oh my gosh, I actually got the, the Vita and Muerte palettes in my collection now. They're brand new. They came out with re-releases. Cannot talk. And then this came out recently. So uh, again, I don't have them easy to like, oh my God, <sighs> can we just take a minute? <laughs> can we just take a minute and look at how glorious this is um i know abh is somewhat of a problematic brand at, and i mean for for good reason but i'm going to be honest when i say i do love a lot of their products i'm not gonna lie i love their pro pigment palettes i love their brow like the brow products alone please they're gorgeous um, I, it's not even just the brow freeze and the brow pomade, the brow pencil is great and the brow powder is great and the brow gel, like the, the spoolie gel is fantastic and it's only $12. I'm not trying to like push a brand on anybody, but 
I'm going to say they have fantastic, fantastic products. And I'm just disappointed in some of the choices that the owners make. So that's not why I'm here. That's not what we're talking about. I'm just going to say the products are fantastic. And I'm looking for fantastic products that I can use and swear by. And I do have a couple of really great items in my collection and they're ABH. And I'm also going to say their lip glosses are great as well. I, I cannot believe this highlighter. It's stunning. I think it'll be fantastic with my skin tone. Mm. That is the most beautiful like champagne-y, like slightly leading golden mm, gorgeousness. Okay, so those are the five items that I am going to be bringing into my Project 10 uses. If there is something that you guys want me to try, please list it in my comments below. I am trying to be on a little bit of a no-buy right now, especially for a little while until I um, see what the future holds for me. I'm, you know, life, life stuff. So I just have to wait for a little bit to see. But if there is something that you guys want me to try and I do need to replace another item at some point, I will try some new things. So let me know in the comments the things that you want me to try and test out for you. And maybe I have it in my collection. An inventory video or videos will be coming up probably in December. I'm going to try and post almost every single day in December if I can, hopefully. Um, that being said, again, let me know. You guys will be able to see what I have in my collection. This is going to be ongoing, I think, continuously. Some months I may switch it from 10 to 5 uses, just depending on the product and how much I have going at one time in, in Project Pans. But I'm very much looking forward to this and I cannot wait to bring you my thoughts on these items. I have a feeling I'm going to want to grab for these now that they're in a project. Um, but in all honesty, I'm just trying to get my thoughts together on how these work and what I feel on these. Also, I would like to see if there's a pump for this because no pump is just so old school for me. Like this is so like when I was a like a child and I would go to my grandma's this would be like how her makeup came and I'm like we are in 2023 where is the pump there should automatically be a pump with these products like come on now so if I have to buy a pump separate that's just weak I can't <laughs> so we'll see we'll see how it goes um but thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like the video if you liked it let me know down in the comments which items you are excited to see me review and talk to you about and I will talk to you in the next one Bye.